my name is Art, and um, I would consider myself to be a part-time photographer, but a full-time artist. Um, I, uh, like maybe many of you that, that uh, watch this, you're uh, like me. I, I have a full-time job, I have a, I have a world where I exist as a person, and I'm known in that world, and I, and I do a lot of things in that world, and, <clears throat> and it's very satisfying and um, very fun. But I've always felt like there was always something that was missing in my life and um, in that whole creative side where you're uh, not just thinking about solutions but also about just sort of ideas, flights of fancy, uh, odd things that pop in your head in the middle of the night, wakes you up and, and you can't go back to sleep. Those moments in time that are really just um, bewildering, uh, exciting, scary, whatever. Um, and for me, photography has been a way to express that. Um, as I've gotten older, uh, I've come to realize that um, I spent a lot of time in my professional world, um, and, and gratifying again, gratifyingly so, but never really paid attention to a lot of that others. And as I've gotten older, it's become more more clear to me that the uh, that I needed to express that, call that midlife crisis. I don't know what it is. So, um, but anyway, I would say that I have to make room for my, for my work. I have to make sure that I pay attention to my heart and my brain to, to set aside the stuff that puts food on my table and um, do things that uh, feeds my soul. And, uh, and I would always encourage people to, whatever you end up doing, whether it's photography or writing or um, you know, some other medium, um, but just take the time to express um, those deep things that would otherwise just sort of stay personal and private and, um, and should be shared. And, you know, it, even if it's just to put it into the outside world, into the ether, and, and no one pays attention to it, that's fine, right? It's you, and that's really the bottom line. It's all about you. So I hope that, uh, I hope you hear what I'm saying. Thanks. This one photo uh, that I'll share with you is is an example of sort of where I've been over the last year. So a about a couple of years ago, I started to really start shooting more seriously in terms of I knew I was going to set aside some time and I wanted to do something very, very specific about uh, expressing some feelings that were sort of raw to me and unknown and, and, it, and it scared me and I, and I didn't want to think about it but I felt like I had to explore it and I, later on um, I was after processing and attending a couple of meetings where it kind of were very transformative um, and I, I was coming to realize I was starting to surface a lot of things that happened in my personal past that um, I, had, I had buried for lack of a better term probably very intentionally but so long ago that I had forgotten about it, and um, so this image that I'm gonna that I'm showing you is, is sort of an example of that. I, I'm, I, when I started to think about this, I was thinking about some of the intense feelings about uh, an event that I was part of many years back, and um, was very tragic, and um, and a, and a lot of that tragedy was based on on my actions. And it was very, very dark and uh, very painful. And even when I think about it now, I, it pains me to think about it. And um, and I wanted to be able to express that through the mood, um, through the through some of the romanticism that was there, because I sort of had that hazy um, sort of romantic feel in my brain, sort of that I had to sort of strip away and the background of where the model is standing sort of represents that uh, the darkness that um, really was behind that hazy romantic uh, uh, feeling that's that's imparted through the dress so um, the I've, I've created now several images like this in different poses and different models different clothing different arenas, but it, it, it feels like it keeps coming back to the same thing. And I guess in my head I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to meld my imagined 
what I've always carried as an imaginary portrait of what it was and then the reality of really what it was and I'm getting to the point where they're starting they're starting to line up now um, and maybe at some point reality is going to supersede my imagination on that which may end up being very painful for me once that happens but nevertheless um, that it's uh, the making those images is allowing me to process that in a way that I can uh, not push it away uh, just because it's so painful.